this is my 305 project for school. Um, I decided I needed a whole helmet lock for my motorcycle because I got tired of carrying this around school. And it's not fun when you gotta go from the Romney all the way up to the Austin and back five times a day to carry a helmet. Anyway, what it is, is it's this little lock here. Um, what I did was I made it RFID controlled. So if you've ever seen the newer hotels, they have the key card that you just tap the door with. So here's the key card right here. And under this plastic piece here, there's a sensor that senses this card. So the card is the user input, and then the sensor senses it, sends a code to the microcontroller, the Arduino, which I put under the seat. And the servo has a little actuator in it. Um, what I did have was this screen here. I had it so I could do diagnostics on it. It would tell me when it had read a card, read a code. But I plugged it into the wrong voltage and it fried so it doesn't work anymore. But that was just for diagnostic purposes. Sadly, I won't be able to show it in the video. So how this works here is in order for the whole thing to work, the key has to be on. I don't want it to be draining the battery. So it's only on when the key is on. You can see that lock pawl right there. And I have my sensor right up under this plastic right here. So what happens is, is if you want to go ahead and go on the lock pawl again, I'll do the card up with the plastic and you can kind of see that opening in there and then closing like that. So what we do, just got my helmet here to better demonstrate it, is I get the loop of my helmet, open that up, place that right in there, make sure it's far enough away so it's not going to get caught. Still working on the tolerances and stuff, but you just Put it right in there, and there we go, it's locked. Then to take it off, you just do the same thing in reverse, pull that, and there it is. And that's my project.